Uh, ask for clarification from the Prime Minister. Okay. So I, I would like to thank the Prime Minister for a very comprehensive speech and response. Uh, but I have two clarifications for the Prime Minister. So firstly, the Prime Minister has described a system as being a second model where voters vote for a party and not the candidate. Is the Prime Minister then advocating uh, some sort of system of proportionate representation, which is really the pure form of such a second model? And my second clarification, sir, is that this second model is about voting for a party. Is it then the PM's position that if in future an opposition party holds more than one seat in Parliament and one seat is vacated, he will allow the other MPs of that party to cover for the vacated seat? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, sir, first of all, one of the first things you learn in trying to make practical solutions in government is that we don't look for pure solutions. We look for workable solutions. And proportional representation for reasons which we have explained and which we can debate on another occasion is the wrong solution for Singapore. It leads to divided politics. It leads to extreme positions being espoused, espoused by parties which are going for votes on each side it leads to a fracture of our multiracial and multi-religious harmony. You'll have race-based parties, religious-based parties. There will be no end of trouble. So we are not talking about proportional representation. We are talking about a system where when voters vote, they are not just voting for the member. Look at the member. Is he honest? Is he a cheat? Is he capable? Will he serve you? But look at the party. What party does he belong to? What is the credibility of that party? What can he do if he is elected in that party? And then make your choice because you are voting not just for the voter but also for the party. And because of the way things have turned out and the PAP has an overwhelming majority in this House, so we amended the legislation and the Constitution to create NCMPs to give the opposition more representation in this House without having proportional representation. As for what happens if an opposition constituency falls vacant, I have many options. I could call a by-election. I could allow some other opposition MP to cover for him. There is no difficulty doing that. That we do that for PAP constituencies and we will do the same for the opposition constituencies as well.